Good afternoon, everybody. We are here at Le Cirque restaurant in New York City. Uh, I'm here with Massimo Bever, uh, who has been so kind to give us some of his precious time. Uh, he's the chef here at Le Cirque, Italian, of course, from Trentino. Trentino Alto Adige, yes. And he's been here for quite some time, he was telling me. So let's yeah, hear about uh, your story, how you got here to New York. Well, I got here in New York uh, on 1997, so not just yesterday, but quite a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, nothing, it was just basically uh, uh, everybody, you know, I have a couple of friends working in New York and they were coming back in, uh, in, uh, back in town in uh, Roncegno, where I'm from. And uh, they were everybody excited about this New York uh, and uh, you know the city and everything else. So I was like, you know, I would like to really see what's going on really in this, uh, you know, city New York. So I just decided one day to just, uh, you know, put everything in my luggage, getting in uh, myself on the airport, uh, getting a plane, and come over to New York and see <laughs> really what it is, and uh, you know, get some, uh, you know. And, uh, here, and here you are. Exactly. I was just thinking to do a couple of years, learn some English, uh, do some, uh, you know, and go back in Italy. But you were already well, like a chef see, before? Well, not really. I mean, I was working in a different hotel. I mean, uh, I was uh, the age of uh, 22 years old. So I was still, uh, you know, chef de commis, chef de partie, but not really executive chef. So I got this opportunity to come in New York and uh, start working in a different company, which, uh, you know, pretty much uh, really well company with uh, big names and uh, you know I work out on my step up year by year and uh, it's basically what a few years then I'm covering the position of executive chef. Wow but tell us tell us where did you start your passion for food I mean what was the event in your life that started your passion? Well you know still seems uh, you know I was little I mean in the family I mean it was already Let's say maybe, you know, something that you grew up in the blood. So, I mean, surrounded by, you know, mom and dad and brothers, uh, which is actually my brother, is uh, nine years uh, older than me. And actually now he's a chef in Italy. So I always, uh, exactly, I mean, be in the middle of uh, pots and pans and, you know. So you grew up. Exactly. And so I was the always food left around. and right. Uh, I was always in the middle, uh, you know, passing by kitchen and, and always helping doing something. So, you know, my brother, he <laughs> was the one to, you know, step up uh, and enjoy the culinary school and get that direction. And I just fall in love and follow him. But tell us, tell us, what does for you mean to be an Italian chef abroad? Well, I think it's, uh, you know, it's pretty nice. And, uh, you know, I mean, we, we, we bring from Italy, uh, you know, I mean, our culinary, our, uh, you know, gastronomy, culinary, and, uh, you know, making everybody understand what's going on in Italy, what, uh, you know, we kind of food, uh, we kind of food we do, and uh, all our, uh, you know, specialty that we do right now. So I represent uh, our Italy over here in New York and trying to do the best to, you know, picturing everything that is over there right here in New York. Yeah, because in the end, uh, food is culture, no? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> So let's tell to our uh, I love Italian food and friends, friends uh, what is the Italian recipe that features you the most? I mean, uh, what are the secrets to prepare it, if you can share something with us? Well, the thing that I can say, I mean, I'm pretty much, uh, you know, what can you say, from, from appetizer to main course dessert, I mean, I'm pretty open to do, you know, a lot of uh, dishes and a lot of stuff, but probably the one that represented me the most, uh, again, to be North Italian, I think is probably pasta, risotti and uh, gnocchi, yes. And uh, is there a favorite recipe that your customer ask you? Favorite recipe, I think uh, one of the dishes that is uh, pretty well sell over here, that's the risotto asparagus that we have in the menu which is basically prepared with, uh, again, uh, asparagus. Uh, there is uh, a taleggio cheese uh, mm. uh, fondue on top. Uh, we have some uh, confit mushroom and then uh, oven dry tomato. Sounds delicious. And a uh, espole powder just to give in some uh, spiciness to the dish. I hope I can try it a little bit Absolutely. later. <laughs> Thank you very much. Absolutely. So, chef, tell us. Um, 
what is the biggest stereotype about Italian food amongst people? I mean, I don't think Italian would say risotto with uh, this fantastic no, I mean, yeah, it's, uh You know, we are well known, uh, you know, about, you know, sp spaghetti, mozzarella, tomato. I mean, when you're talking about Italian, I mean, I think that pretty much everybody come out with the idea like that, that, you know, they picture in rather way cheeses uh, and pizza and uh, spaghetti and all that kind of stuff. Which, uh, you know, I mean, again, is not, is not everything about Italy. I mean, I, I think that, uh, you know, Italy have much, much more to give in, you know, in culinary and in a food uh, side uh, more than that, absolutely. I mean, especially in this, uh, you know, past couple of years, I mean, the culinary, it really start to get in bigger and bigger. And, uh, you know, we actually see in every single day in TV and stuff that, uh, yeah, we and get I guess it, we get him back. Uh, we get him back on those days where uh, you know Italy was one of the best, uh, you know, country in terms of food and stuff. Well, we get our you know first place this year with uh, Massimo Bottura. So I think is uh, you know we can clearly see that Italy is still at the top. Uh, you know, it is, and the, we have list. to say we are proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I and mean, uh, uh, really, I love really the proud. idea that there's people like you that really share this culture and... Uh yes, I mean, we're trying to do our best. Again, in these days, I mean, people traveling around the world uh, easily. I mean, it's not anymore like, uh, you know, many years ago that uh, you can probably, you know, put in, in a dish uh, something different and, and, and just... People uh, still think correct. it's Italian. Now they, now they <laughs> understand, they know what's going on. And uh, so we are pushing to, you know, ourselves to really bring at the table a great uh, experience, a great Italian food and make sure that they recognize. Yeah, you know, and I'm pretty sure people recognize that they're learning more and more and so exactly. you have a big uh, work to do. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty tough, let's say. Yeah, I mean, it's not easy like it used to be many years ago. Right now the competition is a lot, so which, you know, in a, in a sense is you know, Positive and challenging, correct, I would correct. say. It's a, it's a challenge every day, so you're coming in and you're just, uh, you know, making your job uh, more interesting day by day, so it's, uh, it's a good thing, let's say, they put it that way, yes. Thank you, thank you. Let me ask you one more question about your future projects. Personal, professional, future, what would you like to share with us? Well, you know, retirement, because I mean, I'm pretty much tired, I'm in the kitchen <laughs> since 15, so... Many but you're so young, <laughs> so we're still expecting you to no, well, present mean, uh, us the I good food. I think, you know, for the, 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 the priority and really the dream that, uh, you know, every single chef or people working in a culinary, I mean, I think is the dream is to open something your own. Your own. Yes, that's the, the dream that I pretty much uh, I have in myself. But of course, I mean, right now, I mean, I'm here in this place. Uh, they say that I'm working for the company three years, but in this special, uh, you know, Le Sir Cristalan is only what, four months. So I will try wow. to pretty much to work out and making sure that everything goes well and put all my effort in this place for now. And then in a couple of years, we'll see what happens. And we're looking forward to see what happens. And we thank would you. like to give you a big thank on You're behalf of everybody. Thank you to And you guys. thank you for your time. All the best. Thank you. Best of luck. Congratulations for what you've been doing so far and uh, for your dreams that they may happen very soon at the best that you like. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to come with you for the risotto, may I? Wonderful. Let's go thank to the kitchen. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, everybody. And thank Bye. you very much again, Massimo Ciao Beber. Italy. Ciao, Italy.